Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Poetry in the PM. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys had a good weekend and uh, got some rest. Um, I want to start, as I start every time, uh, by thanking all of our healthcare workers, everybody working in a hospital right now, doctors, nurses, anyone who's working in a hospital right now. We love you. Thank you so much. We appreciate you. Um, it's kind of hard to imagine when this all started how long this would... Uh, take and maybe how much more longer uh, it will take. Um, it's, it's, it's getting pretty nuts. Um, I hope this is all over soon and I hope that everybody can, um, to the best of their abilities, respect to stay inside so we don't keep infecting people. So I hope you guys are uh, taking the necessary precautions. I hope your families are well, your families are healthy and safe. Um, today I'm very excited. I have uh, Stefania Spampinato uh, on, uh, on the show, which I'm so excited about. Uh, Stefania came to us and was such a gift uh, on Grey's Anatomy. I think they realized that it was sort of hard for me to speak Italian for no reason on the show, and they decided to create a, a sister character for me so that we would be able to have these amazing scenes where we could just discourse in, in, um, in Italian. And, um, and so they created Stefania's character, uh, Karina, which um, you know ended up being one of my favorite characters and someone who I I um, I admire very much and have had such an amazing time uh, working with over the years. Um, not to mention she's Italian, so you know we have a lot of connections there. We enjoy speaking Italian on set and and uh, maintaining that culture. She always helps me so much if I'm pronouncing something wrong or um, or when we have to create Italian for the show. We'll often you know work on it together to make it the best way it can possibly be. As the writers don't speak Italian, so we kind of got to fill in those blanks. And um, I've been talking on the show a lot about how I'm a big fan of music and that uh, poetry essentially is uh, words written to be spoken and that so many uh, songs, uh, lyrics, have um, are, are, are poetry. And so many songs uh, are, are able to be you know featured on this thing. And I have so many friends who are musicians as well, so... We've been talking a long time also with other guests that we should start maybe incorporating some songs uh, to reading some song lyrics. And uh, luckily, Stefania today has uh, done the job for me. So uh, without further ado, I'm going to bring her on. We're going to have a quick chat and uh, we're going to read the uh, song slash poem that she brought on today. So see if I can uh, get her on here. Mm -mm -mm. Eccola! <ride> come stai? Sorellina, come stai? Bene, bene, ti vedo come bene. Stai? Anche io, anche io ti okay, vedo bene. Un bacio. Ciao. <ride> um, ok, so how have, you, how have you been? Tell us about uh, how are you? I've been good, I've been good. I've been trying to stay home uh, and uh, actually enjoying staying home and doing a ton of housework. Good. And yes, with my puppy, and I've been listening to a ton of music. That's why also I feel like when you brought up the poetry, I've been I have this Italian, old Italian music playlist that it's my go-to, especially when I do things at home and they remind me of. Oh, you'll have to send it to me. Yes, I'm going. Then maybe we can post it here so other people can listen to it too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it like on uh, it. Spotify or something? It's on Spotify. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Yeah, yeah, but I'll make sure that I post it that I share it because it's very fun. Right. And, and I feel like I'm a huge fan of Domenico Modugno. He's the guy that wrote Nel Blu Dipinto di Blu, Volare for Very for famous world. voice. As soon as you hear his voice, you're like, oh. Exactly, like, exactly. Famous. And his lyrics are amazing. And yeah. I've been looking at the backstories behind the songs. And a lot of them have a sad beginning. And then they, they're more positive. And I thought this one was like a good reminder for everyone to to go to and see how beautiful everything, like the world can be, even in the dark moments, even in the sad moments, there's still so much to yeah. look forward to in life. And I thought that would be a good, yeah, a good reminder. I hadn't heard this song in a long time and I, I listened to it again this morning and actually found a video on YouTube of him actually singing it in black and white on the wow. right. Um, yes. It's so beautiful. Yeah. Um, and like you said, yeah, it's just like, it's universal, it's timeless. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. a message that will never, ever um, grow old yeah. or out of date. 
Um, exactly. You know, and, and like you said, in these times, I think it's a definitely a, a great uh, perspective to take that even in the darkest times, there's always something to look forward to and, and that life is still beautiful. There's mm -hmm. still so much beauty to see in, in our world. So yeah. um, you picked, you did a great job. You picked an amazing, uh, Thank brava. You yes. <laughs> Got um, okay. So uh, do you want to get right into it? Do you want to, do you want to read it? Well, I suck at reading poetry, so I'm going to do it very lightly because this is my problem. If I read and I get into it, I end up crying. And so I don't want to cry today because I want to stay positive and happy. Okay. Yeah, I get very I emotional. Mean, feelings are welcomed here on Poetry. I Me know, too. but I'm talking about positivity <laughs> and, and the beauty of life. And then I'm going to be like... <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's okay. If you, if you got to shed a tear, we can just pause. Okay. Or I can take over or whatever. You know what I mean? Okay, okay. You continue, I can't, then we'll do that. Ma mi aiuti tu o la leggo da sola? Cosa? Mi aiuti tu o la leggo da sola? Ci cioè, alterniamo? La leggo da sola? Ok. Sì, va sì. bene. Va no, bene. Se non ce la fai, continui. Continui tu, va bene. Ok. Sì, sì. Hai giudicato. <laughs> okay. I want to do a little bit, un pochino di preambolo in oh, italiano e okay. in inglese. Bene. Perché questa praticamente è una canzone su una eh, eh, parla di questa persona che sta per buttarsi da un ponte e a un certo punto c'è questa figura che arriva da dietro quasi come se fosse un come dice qua, quasi come fosse un angelo custode che gli ricorda che gli fa tutte queste domande per ricordargli quanto sia bella la vita, quanto, quanto di meraviglioso c'è nella vita. E, ok, andiamo qua. Um, è vero. Credete mi è accaduto di notte su di un ponte, guardando l'acqua scura con la dannata voglia di fare un tuffo giù. Uh, D'un tratto qualcuno alle mie spalle, forse un angelo vestito da passante, mi porto via dicendomi così. Sì, sí, I'm crying already. <ride> <ride> so Meraviglioso, ma come non ti accorgi? Ah. <ride> ah. Jeff, help! Come here, Jeff. Help me out. Yes. <laughs> Ma come non ti accorgi di quanto... She's coming. There we go. Uh, il mondo sia meraviglioso. Meraviglioso perfino il tuo dolore potrà apparire poi meraviglioso. Ah! Ma guarda intorno a te che doni ti hanno fatto. Ti hanno inventato il mare. Tu dici non ho niente, ma ti sembra niente il sole, la vita, l'amore. Ah, meraviglioso. Meraviglioso. Vai. Il bene di una donna che ama solo te. Meraviglioso. La luce di un mattino, l'abbraccio di un amico, il viso di un bambino. Meraviglioso. Meraviglioso. Ma guarda intorno a te che doni ti hanno fatto. Ti hanno inventato il mare. Tu dici non ho niente, ma ti sembra niente il sole, ti sembra niente la vita, l'amore. Meraviglioso. La notte era finita e ti sentivo ancora. Sapore della vita. Meraviglioso, meraviglioso, meraviglioso. Meraviglioso! Meraviglioso! <ride> <laughs> I tried. It. I tried. I mean, you help. Thank you. Thank you, you for, for the help. So Jeff. I think, I think, penso che quello non era tutta la canzone in italiano, ma era un bel po'. Mi sa, no? Io credo siano le liriche principali e poi credo si ripeta. Però... So I'm saying, I, I don't think that was the full song, but it was a no. good, uh, good chunk Strong. of it for sure. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, so yeah. In, this, in this translation, it has here. The translation, uh, uh, so Domenico Modugno's song is called Meraviglioso, which I think is marvelous, not yeah. wonderful. I, th I think it's more closer to marvelous as well. Um, because it's like meraviglioso is sort of like an extension of a word called meraviglia, something that is a meraviglia, um, which is like a marvel, something to yes. marvel at. Yeah. Um, So, uh, Marvelous is sort of yeah. like our extension of, of a Marvel. Um, right. And uh, it's not as good as the Italian word, as always. Meraviglioso is such a... It never is. A word to yeah. say. 
It's like this like slide you get to like ride on. It's amazing. It just but, feels so awful. So it's like, yes, it's meravilloso. Yeah, so it's like a release to say the word meravilloso. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to substitute the word wonderful with marvelous. Okay. Um, I support that. Okay, great. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm going to try the English version of this. Yeah. Um, song slash poem. Beautiful. Okay. It's true. Believe me. This happened at night above a bridge, staring at the dark water with the damn desire of jumping off. Suddenly, someone at my back, maybe an angel disguised as a passerby, pulled me back, telling me this. Marvelous. How come you don't remember how much the world is marvelous? Marvelous, even your pain may look a little marvelous. Just look around you, how many gifts you've been given, for you have been invented, for you has been invented the sea. You say you have nothing, it seems nothing for you, the sun, life, love, marvelous. Yeah. The love of a woman that loves only you, marvelous. The light of a morning, the embrace of a friend, the sight of a child, marvelous, marvelous, marvelous. Just look around you, how many gifts you've been given. For you has been invented the sea. You say you have nothing. Does it seem nothing to you? The sun, life, love, marvelous. The love of a woman that loves only you. The night had ended and I still could feel you. The taste of life, marvelous. Beautiful. Um, so of course in, in, in this, this poem, it's quite dramatic. You know, the, yeah. the song starts at, as a man is literally um, thinking of jumping off of a bridge into, into water and this, this voice, um, from wherever um, pulls him back. But I think at the end of the day, you know, we all need little reminders here and there, whether it's a friend telling us, um, you know, a parent, yeah. a coworker, an experience that you have that maybe just makes you realize something. Um, and, and certainly this experience of this pandemic Yes. Um, I think has definitely made us really realize how lucky we are to be alive, how how lucky we are to be able to sort of uh, be free and be able to roam around in nature and how much we take that for granted now that we've been sort of locked inside. Yeah, and to be able to see our friends, our families, just interact with other people. I, yeah. I mean, it would have been a lot harder if we were in 1999 without the phone and the technology that we have now. But still, yeah. you realize how important is human con connection and human contact. Yeah. Or like in the 1900s, I would have had to like write, write, uh, written you a letter saying, hey, Stefania, do you want to be on my poetry show? We have Two months to later. You would get the letter and then you'd be like, Oh, okay. And then you would write me back and then you would mail it. And then a week later, I would get the thing. And then it'd be yeah. like a month before we had like a response. Exactly. It would take so much longer. <laughs> yeah, crazy. Yeah, we're but, lucky um, it's happening now. I mean, it happened before, but at least it's happening now. To I happen. think even in the song, one of the things that he mentions about like wh how beautiful life is or like the simple things, like the embrace of a friend and it's like yeah. how many That's friends would you love to embrace right now oh my god <laughs> you know I mean? yes it's like even like i've seen some friends but i haven't embraced them no it's all from you know a distance I mean? yeah yeah I and your family you have day, family drop off something in front of my house and we yeah. chatted for a couple of minutes but we were far from each other and he was in his car and it was it's really nice just to kind of yeah. see each other and, and yeah. talk not over a phone but yeah. I did want to just kind of give him a hug. Uh, I missed that experience. You know what I mean? For sure. Um, for sure. And as I was saying, like, our, your family is between Canada and Italy. My family is all in Italy also. That's that's hard. This will be the time where we would have gone and see them. Definitely. And, yeah. It would probably be a little And your family longer. is all good? 
in uh, Sicily. Yeah, so far so good in Sicily. And are they all in in Catania in Sic Sicily? They're all in Sicily. Yeah, between Catania, Modica. Yeah, but they're okay. all there. Yeah, okay. yeah. How about your family? All good? They're good. I mean, it seems like slowly. Maybe it's not all of Italy, but where my family is just outside of Rome, that they're slowly Opening starting out, to slowly, yeah. reopen certain sectors, not everything. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, they've been in quarantine longer than us, and I'm already going pretty crazy, so I can't imagine, yeah. um, you know, my family's pretty pretty fed up, for sure. Yeah. Um, for they're sure. smart. They know it's the right thing to do, but at the same yeah. time, it's not like you have to love Get them. us out of here, yeah. And, and as you know, like, in in Italy – at least in Rome, like we have a very kind of a, a apartment building yeah. complex. Um, you know, what we would call a house, they would call an apartment, you know what I mean? Or what, yeah. sorry, what they would call a house, we would call an apartment. Yeah, yeah, here. yeah. Like the, the idea of actual like homes that are like- With a uh, garden, like, yeah. Yeah, like nobody really has those. You, you know, yeah. everybody just lives in apartment buildings um, or like condos, I guess you would yeah. call them. Um, so it's a lot of tighter spaces. Yeah, well, for you know, sure. In in Italy, a lot of families, large families, you know, you know, husband, wife, and two or three kids. They live in very small uh, apartments, so it can yeah. it can be very difficult to yeah. uh, to have sanity or alone time or me so time. Mentini, yeah. <laughs> me that that uh, does so well. So um, for sure, um, I, I feel for them in that way. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I have friends that cannot wait, and also I think they're. Um, stay home restrictions that were a little tougher than ours um, but yeah for sure like the apartment situation made it a lot harder I read something about people bringing their dogs for walks 20 times a day in order yeah. to get out of the house yeah. and I feel like if anything the creativity of the Italians is what came out during these hard times and their Absolutely. like joy for life and I love that the first thing that they did was like getting out in the balconies and sing and 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 play instruments. Seeing the videos from from Italy and and all the things that they've done, it's like it's made yeah. me so proud to to yeah. be from there. Honestly, like just such great pride that like in these times they've like you said the the creativity that Italians have is like yeah. unparalleled. It's so their yeah. attitude and what they come up with. I saw this video of like people passing out. Like they 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 were r running strings from their balconies <laughs> passing and then like passing each other like oil and wine. I love and that. Like, you know, it was That's like adorable. I also saw these two older gentlemen putting uh, wood boards between their two balconies and then putting a tablecloth and yeah, yeah, so they together. Could it together. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> amazing. I thought that was adorable. Oh, I know. I know so because it's like that's us. Like we miss that human connection. We miss that yeah. ability to just you know be with other people. It's it's it really is tough. Yeah. That's even something you take for granted. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just just seeing other people and being social. I think I, I'm a little bit of a homebody, a little kind of antisocial. If I'm going to be honest. <laughs> um, but being in this quarantine, I didn't even realize that the little contact I was having in my but social life, how much I needed it. Yeah. Nice. And even just going to work and like yeah. seeing you and like other, you know, co-workers <laughs> and friends for the day. And like, yeah. I didn't realize how much that was filling me up and, yeah. and you know, yeah, it's, it's like oxygen. It's like air. You know what I mean? I, yeah. I definitely feel starved of a lot of those things. Yeah, absolutely. And I miss working, which I'm sure you can relate to. Oh my God. Yes. You know, just working, for like sure. being creative and doing the thing that we love to do. It's, it's, yeah it's hard not to do that you know what i mean yeah. it's like and it's also we're very lucky because it's such a good environment and you go to work with the smile on your face so definitely yeah missing that so much everyone i was messaging with the makeup with dory and i was like i miss you dory Where are you? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god amazing so good yeah yeah because like for other artists it's like if you're a painter or you play the guitar you're a drummer it's like you can do that at home. You can paint. Yeah. Like, you can <laughs> play your guitar and practice. It's not the same as like maybe playing on a show, but right. like, you can kind of practice your instrument. But for us, it's like in front of I the can't mirror. Really practice. I can't really like <laughs> do my job. It's so different. It's such a different art form. No, know? no. I tend to be dramatic in front of Jeff, in front of my dog. I'm, I talk okay. to her a lot as well. Yeah. But I'm not sure he's serving any purpose. <laughs> 
It's a she? Uh, yeah, Jeff is a girl. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> you got a new puppy as well. I did, yes. So cute. Jazz, yeah. Jazz, we'll have to have a doggy date when this is all over. Yes, absolutely. And they can be friends. Exactly. I would love that. Yeah, he needs a girlfriend for sure. Oh, she's, he's, she's he, single. He, he's a little, she's single? Okay, good. So she's, he's, uh, yeah, he's single too. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> we made a little dog connection. Exactly. Um, let's go to the, uh, the comments and see if anybody, do you guys have any questions for Stefania or I about like the song or about anything, anything you want to say to us? Ma non potete parlare in italiano? Eh, ok. Sì, adesso, eh, adesso esatto. Adesso poi parliamo in italiano. Non intendo una verga, però la sam... Oh, oh, io, I think I said a swear word in Spanish. But, oh, oh mia nipote, ciao Vittoria! Shondaland, hello. Ciao. People. Belli che siete, grazie. <laughs> Stefania, love from Brazil. Oh, Fratelli okay, d'Italia. Can you please say the name of the artist that wrote the song? It's Domenico Modugno. But I'll make sure that I um, attach a link to the playlist, to the, Italia, the Italian playlist. I don't know if I can do it now. Maybe I'll do it after. Avete know. scelto la canzone più bella in assoluto. Grazie. Oh, well, l'ha la, la scelto Stefania, non io. Ma still. Um, oh. Meraviglioso. And like, um, come stava dicendo um, Stefania, like Stefania was saying, um, Domenico Modugno um, is a very famous um, Italian singer, probably one of the most famous um, Italian singers that kind of translated and came to America. Mm -hmm. Like his, his music is sort of the famous Italian music that came to America. Yeah. Um, so you guys would definitely recognize if you look him it's up boring. and start listening yeah. to the songs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Volare, which is like huge. Another poetry. I would almost pick that one because also the lyrics of that song are incredible, but I wanted to do something a little less obvious maybe for an Wow, so many different flags from Brazil, Spain. Sicilia. Saluto dalla Sicilia. Yay, from Sicilia. Sicily. Also, Domenico Modugno ha scritto un sacco di canzoni in dialetto siciliano. So, he's very, he was very close to Sicily and he wrote a lot in, in dialect, oh, in Sicilian wow. dialect. Okay. Yeah. There is a song called Lupisci Spada that is super dramatic, but I love that song speaks about like these two uh, swordfish uh, made for life. I didn't know that. And, and in Italy, in Sicily, we eat a lot of swordfish. And so yeah. this is oh, the whole story so of good, like, so <laughs> yeah. But it's Io a sad story about... I remember when I was in Sicily, a place uh -huh. that was called Rocca Lumera. Madonna, come no? And she had the mom of a friend of mine who had made the envoltini of fish and spada. Eh. Io ancora mi ricordo il sapore. Il sogni la notte. <ride> Oppure la pasta con i ricci l'hai mai mangiata? Sì, mamma mia. Oh, no. We're talking about food, obviously. Yes. <ride> um, Stefania was saying that um, swordfish is very big in her specific region of Italy, in Sicily. We eat a lot of swordfish. And I remember I spent one summer there and I had these... Um, um, voltini, they're like uh, ah. like rolled uh, swordfish yeah. on a skewer, and they were like grilled. So amazing, so 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 yeah. good. If you love seafood, you got to go to Sicily. Yeah, so good for that. It is pretty great, pretty epic. Um, Brazil, sempre tanto Brazil. Danimarca, do we get e, the same? Oh, e le melanzane imbuttonate. Imbut <laughs> Sì, le melanzane le mangiamo tanto, ma anche in Sicilia è tutto, c'è cioè la pasta alla norma, le polpette di melanzane, tutto. Ecco. <ride> Sono di Trapani. Trapani, in provincia di Trapani c'è questa spiaggia che si chiama San Vito Lo Capo, che è una delle spiagge più belle di tutta la Sicilia, sabbia bianca, mare che sembra una piscina, mamma mia, che meraviglia. Perù, Roma, Dai, Roma. insegnamento italiano. Calabocca ci ha hopa. 
<laughs> there's this thing that I in Portuguese that I you know I want when you learn something in a new language in a new language it's always the bad stuff that you learn of course. first oh yeah and yeah <laughs> so I was doing a live with Danielle and we were talking about the sentences that we have learned in different languages and I was trying to remember this thing that I learned in Portuguese that I learned in Brazil and I said it and yeah the, Portu the Brazilian fans of the show appreciated it they thought it was very funny <laughs> oh, yeah they've tried to get me to say some things but so, some of the words are so hard to pronounce like when you it's read hard. it when leggi, si. it's hard it's difficult to know how to pronounce it la to pronounce it properly there are many rules like la X or different yes because it's not a language phonetic like the Italian no no You know, yeah, so uh, what Stefani just said is like it, it, Italian is very phonetic. Yeah. And so although it's, you know, maybe a, a difficult language to learn, uh, being so phonetic, it's easy in the sense of like you pronounce every letter. And so there's no yeah. real, it's not a lot of tricks um, yeah. to confuse you. Once you kind of understand the basic principles, you can kind of um, pick it up, uh, the pronunciation at least, uh, pretty quickly. Yeah. Um, whereas like as an Italian coming to learning English, yeah. there's so many obstacles and there's so many tricks that you have to learn and so many, you know, this letter is silent and this letter and it's like, the simplest no, thing. no explanation why either. You just no. say, well, this is it. And it's written in a it. way and pronounced like even the word tired. Why is tired? It should be tired. This is why you tired. say yeah, tired. tired. This is yeah. how it's spelled. Yeah. That's like how like tired. anybody in my family would say it. Exactly. And for me, it was so hard at the beginning. I was like, what? Why? The Why? biggest one for me, which is so funny because it's not an Italian word, mm -hmm. but the way Italians say it makes me laugh. And every time I go back, if I don't say it like this, they don't understand what I'm saying. It's what hamburger. Is it? <laughs> if I say, oh, hey, do you guys want to go for a hamburger? They'd be like, What? What? And they, oh, hamburger. And they're like, oh, hamburger. Yes. <laughs> But that's how they say it, which is so weird. Um, <laughs> it's so true. It's the it's same such a word for the pronunciation. Like my parents, I, I, when I was with American friends at home, and they were like, we know a lot of, Italian, of American actors. And they were like, okay, who? Kirky Douglas. And they were like, who? Kirk Douglas, they couldn't understand Kirky Douglas or Eddie Murphy. Or Eddie Murphy, see. Burt Lancaster. We laughed for 40 minutes trying to figure out what, who they were. Oh, But yeah. It's cute. Yeah. And it's so it's amazing. <laughs> The pronunciations are amazing. Yeah. This is like my dad just growing up, like listening to my dad pronounce everything was amazing. Yeah. It's, especially for you because you grew up with the two... Uh, like speaking both of them and with the right accent. So it must have been so interesting. Wow. How long have you been in America, Stefania? For nine years now. Nine years. Yeah. Um, But before America, I was in London for a bit. That's where I learned English. Oh, I wanted to say, I saw you in the Ford versus Ferrari. It was so cool to uh, see you in that. Thank you. You did great. Yeah. And it was like thank so cool you. that they had like this a, a, a Italian little role in there for you. And yes. um, I'm sure you had fun. Yeah, it was. It was a lot of fun. Thank Very cool. Thank you. Yeah. It's a great story. Great. I love the movie. So compelling. I didn't know what it was going to be like, but I really enjoyed the whole movie. It was, and oh my God, Christian Bale, Matt Damon. Ah, so good. Fanno torni in Sicilia, eh, presto spero, quando posso. They stopped. They're asking when, uh, when Stefania will come back to Sicily. Eh, spero presto. Saluti da Trapani. Da Trapani, ciao Giacomo e Stefania da Roma. Parlate un po' in italiano. <laughs> What is this flag? Okay, I'm so ignorant. Cile, Puglia, ah bella la Puglia. Mm -hmm. Parliamo un po' in italiano. Ciao Brasile. Valeo, valeo Brasile. Ma tu sei ancora su Station 19? Io? Sì. Sì, ma, ma abbiamo già finito di girare. Questa è una domanda tua o che hai letto? 
No, 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 lo so che avete finito di girare, ma cioè, le, le, le vostre puntate vanno ancora in onda? Sì, 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 vanno ancora in onda, credo ce ne siano altre due o tre. Altre due o tre? Per la fine che della storia. Che ci sei tu? Sì. Ah, bene. Non credo sia uno spoiler, però sì, credo si possa dire. No, vabbè, tanto nei crediti c'è, ne? <ride> ok, well, would you say maybe? Maybe, maybe, maybe. <ride> so maybe, if you watch Station 19, because Grey's Anatomy, unfortunately... <ride> Is over. Maybe. Um, you can maybe see Stefania. Maybe. Exactly. If you're, dying, if you're dying to see Stefania and you just cannot wait, then go to Station 19 on Thursdays and you can maybe see her. Grazie, fratello. Maybe. And, um, yeah. What are, some, what are some things that, like, has been going on in your mind during this time or, like, things that you've thought a lot about or maybe realized or learned or, you know? Well, I feel like I've been pretty lazy, if I have to be honest. Like, I've enjoyed doing a lot of manual stuff. I've been painting and, and cooking a lot and taking my dog for long walks and listening to a lot of podcasts. I listen to all the podcasts that I can get access to. <laughs> but, <laughs> and I've been watching a bunch of movies. I feel like, I don't know, I think I told you this before, but I've been uh, getting more intrigued to the idea of directing. So I've been watching TV shows and movies with a different eye, trying to learn, trying to look at the shots. Great. And yeah, which is been Great. a lot of fun. Yeah. And I shadowed Paris in, on the last episode of Station 19. Great. He's and, fantastic. Oh my God. He's incredible. He's fantastic. He's such a like landmark of the directing, TV directing. He's, you know, so much and he's so charming and so... Yeah, he calm. cares a lot too. He really cares. Yeah. yeah. Know, he's, you know, when you join the, um, the Director's Guild, there's a yeah. mandatory course you have to take and he taught mine. Oh, and, amazing. Uh, he was um, just so passionate amazing. about it and was like, you know, does a good living, doesn't need to be there, doesn't need to be doing that. And the fact that he cares about like yeah. teaching new up and coming uh, students who are, who are wanting to direct, um, yeah. that's so cool. Like I love that, yeah. you know, that the sort of essence of giving back and sharing your gifts and remembering when you were a young director starting and you, you didn't forward. know a lot and you were scared and intimidated by this like extremely challenging career. And Yeah. Um, it was it was really uh, empowering. And I thought that like the course would be more about very technical things. Yeah. Like, you know, your shot lists and your angles yeah, yeah, and your yeah. lenses and stuff like that. But really, it was it was much more about maintaining the integrity of, of what yeah. a director should be on a yeah. set. So it was about being yeah. kind, being mm -hmm. positive allowing people to do their jobs, yeah. um, you know, learning everybody's names and calling them yeah. by their names, he was um, great at that. how to all gain real that. respect on a set so that all those people bust their ass to make yeah. you look like a rock star. Because yeah. it can go both ways. And you've seen it before. Right. And um, we all have. Um, yeah. when, when you don't respect your crew, Director they can turn crew, on you yeah. very quickly and make you and have a very bad day. We can't do nothing without them. Because, yes, you are the director, you have the vision, but the crew is the, the who makes it happen, who makes it come to life. So, yeah. yeah. I, I also, he's incredible at talking to actors. Have you ever been directed by him? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I really enjoyed it. Like, for me, it really switched the scene for me personally. It gave mm -hmm. me a very small, specific note, but it was right on point, And I was like, oh, okay, amazing. And it's so good. I love collaborating yeah. with the director. Did you, um, did you ever watch the show Sons of Anarchy? I did. I oh, did. Because okay. he directed also, a lot of those. He also directed In Treatment on HBO. That is a show mm -hmm. that I really love. It's about these therapy sessions. It's very, like, cool show. Yeah. Yeah. If you haven't seen it, Thank go you. for it. I also, I'm also watching The Sopranos these days because I've never seen it. That's so funny you mentioned that. I was thinking about starting it from the beginning and, and watching it again because I watched it like when it came out and everything, you know what I mean? Nice. But I was thinking of going back and rewatching it with Nicole because uh, that's yeah. just like an amazing show. 
so good. I've never seen it before. It's the first time that I'm watching, and I'm like, wow. Those those therapy sessions are great. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So good. And James yeah. Gandolfini is so good. I know. Amazing to watch. Gone too soon. James Gandolfini gone too soon. I know. Soon. I know. Amazing. 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 Um, Stefania, when was the last time you heard Forro? Forro? <laughs> Forro, this is one of the words that you pronounce it with like an H. Forro for is like a, a dance style, a Brazilian dance style that is so cool. You basically, you have to do it with Nicole. He's literally like attached to one another in dancing and it's very sensual, but it's also fun. And uh, I actually, I heard it a couple of nights ago. I have a Brazilian playlist and I had this for all dance and I was dancing with Jeff. I love, it. I love it. And that's Brazilian. Brazilian, yeah. Okay. One of my best friends is Brazilian, so I've been there and I I yeah, I love Brazilian culture and movies and actors. I'm obsessed with Wagner Moura. Do you know you, the guy that did Narcos? You hear that? Brazil? She's obsessed with one of your actors. I'm obsessed with Wagner Mora. I love him. <laughs> uh, I did see Narcos, but I saw the um, like the original Narcos. I know they did like a new one that was like Mexico or something like that. Haven't no, the original. Mexico. He's in the original. He plays Pablo oh, Escobar oh. in the original. Oh yes, he's incredible. Yeah, he's so oh, good. He's so good. He's so, so good. good. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. in like a new movie on Netflix I want to check out. I like saw it, Sergio. Uh, I didn't like that movie. I watched it for him, but unfortunately, I didn't like it. Okay, them. well, now I might not watch it. <laughs> <laughs> but have you seen City of God? No, of uh, Elite Squad. Tropa de Lich. Uh, Elite Squad is like the sequel of City of God, and he's the leader. He's the lead actor in that one, too. Mm -hmm. He plays a boppy, like an agent. I just love that, like the imagination of that studio and that casting director to say like, wow, Pablo Escobar, you know what I mean? Like iconic uh, Colombian, Colombian person. And it was so important to them to get an actor that um, really embodied that character that they actually didn't mind going to another culture to get it. Yeah. You know, and I think that, um, you know, I remember when uh, FX, I think it was, did the Versace's. Yeah. At first I was mad because they Me picked too. all the Latinos <laughs> to play Italians. And I was like, why? It's like almost like it was done on purpose. We have, you know we I mean? are here. We exist. Like we're right exactly. here. <laughs> Stefania, we're right here. Why exactly. You think, you know? um, but uh but at the end of the day, it's like, you know, the, the job goes to the person who, who does the best job, you know what I mean? And, and yeah. um, I think uh, Edgar Ramirez, at least, I, I, I liked his work in it. I thought he did a good yeah. job. And, um, but uh, but I, I just think it opens the possibilities to a lot of actors to say, like, you know, I'm Italian, but Spanish is very easily accessible yeah. to me. And I, I would love to play a, a, a Spanish speaking character and it would be a lot of hard work for me. Like it was a lot yeah. of hard work for, for him, that Brazilian yeah. actor who yeah. did not speak Spanish. He had yeah. to do a lot of really hard work. Yeah. Um, not only are you playing speaking Spanish, but it's Colombian. It's like a different exactly. accent as well. Exactly. So um, I got a lot of respect for him because of the work he had to put in. He was working at a big handicap, big disadvantage. Yeah, for sure. Um, but he could do it because he's a Latin language speaker and he yeah. knew how to access exactly. those sounds. Exactly. Yeah, and I so, feel like also for certain, um, I was talking to an Irish actress and she was like, if I had to wait for an Irish role to come out, I will work once every 10 years. So unfortunately we have to be versatile and sometimes it sucks that for the general American public, foreign is just foreign, but yeah. it's also a blessing for us. We can play any foreign character. I guess, rather than just sure. Italian or just Colombian or just Brazilian, so. Definitely. Yeah. Okay, was there anything else you wanna, you wanna say or you wanna let people know about or I don't know? No, I think I'm okay. How long are you gonna keep doing this for? This is so fun. I love that you started this. I just do it Monday to Friday and um, yeah, it's fun. I miss you, I miss my friends. So it's nice to connect with you guys in this way because we can't actually see each other. Right, So exactly. that's, that's a big part of it. And um, 
I just like sharing different cultures and stuff to remind us that we're all together. We're all similar. The things in the song that you brought are all universal concepts that anybody, no matter where you are on the planet, could relate to. And so um, it's about oneness, you know? Yeah. We're all, no matter where you are in the world, if we have these common things. I think a lot of poetry talks about life. Yeah. Um, and so when we read poetry from different cultures, we realize how similar we are to to each other and not how different yeah. we are from each other. So exactly. um, I like that about poetry. So nice. So nice. I'm so glad you did this. I'm gl so glad you invited me. I'm so glad to see your pacha. I feel like it's been I know, so long. I know. You too. I miss you. I hope you're doing mm -hmm. well. Me too, yeah. yeah okay, yeah. well, mm -hmm. goodbye, Stefania. Goodbye, mm -hmm. Jeff. Goodbye. Say goodbye to um, Nicole and to Jazz. Love you guys. Um, be well, be safe, and I'll talk to you soon, okay? Thank you so much, Giacomo. Okay. Grazie mille, un abbraccio. Ciao, Stefania. Ciao, ciao, ciao.